welcome to race one and the lights are about to go off here we go as we have five lights on the board and for the first race of two we go racing an amazing start from van dorden he is absolutely booked it out of there marlon young gonna try to sneak past here we go turn one a very crucial part of this First lap here. What is going to transpire? Easy place to get a dive bomb in there. There you see the Mercedes of Andy Reese trying to get him on the inside of Marlon Young. Can't get through. Danny is here going to sweep around the outside of Martin Webster. Andrew and Ryan all is going to try to get in there. Meanwhile, they were getting to the carousel section side by side. Here comes Young and Andy Reese there. And Young is actually going to run a little too deep. And here comes the Mercedes trying to get back through now. Trying to get into it. Three cars. Looks like they've had an incident there. And they're still side by side. Marlon Young. Andy Reese pushes them a little bit wide through there. Japan versus Germany. They look very good out there, actually. What a fight this is. And we're going to go trackside now. Let's get to the action. So, let's get back to here. Look at these three drivers pushing hard now. Side by side into... The chicane now. Oh, and Reese will almost hit the wall. Just avoids it. And he's going to drop down two positions. Wow. Chaotic start for these guys. But Marlon Young is fighting with everyone. He's picking a fight with everyone out here. This is incredible. Side by side once again. Two Toyota Supras. Different weights. Heading into one. Is Young going to give this one up or on board with him? Can't really see it there, but there you see Young swoops it down the outside, and all three of them start to stack up here. So the front pack, the top two at least, they have, uh, they're gone. These three guys continue to battle. Here comes the two Danes, now going side by side. And Oliver Blotch in the Super is going to go through. Young taking it a little bit wide here. Remember, this ain't even for the lead. They're battling for the final podium spot. 22 minutes of racing. Left to go, should I say 23 minutes. A little bit of a slide there for the Mercedes of Andy Rees. This is what BOP does, brings the competition closer together. So early on there, you see Lawrence and Van Dorn gone in the distance. And that gap is only going to get bigger the more these guys fight. Oliver Blotch is he's setting up a move here into the chicane. Look how much speed the Mercedes takes into the corner there. Oliver Blotch has to avoid Young's rear end there. Wow. Awesome fights going on here as Van Dorn sets the fastest lap of the race. It's a 115. Five, three, six. Now onto the front straight once again. Here comes Oliver Blotch. He's going to pull up to the inside now. He's going to send it. Of course, a great spot to get the move done here. Side by side. Looks very good. Young is going to cross over. Defend the line. Oh, and it's contact. Teammates come together. That's drama there. Andy Reid's going to come into contact with his teammate. That's the last thing he wanted. x going to be very happy to see that yeah, one. Danny Nassir sent it down. The right. inside there of Oliver Blanche. Uh, was it damage? We don't know. Meanwhile, M uh, Martin Webster into the pit. We did not see it, but there was contact between Danny Martin and Andrew. Oh, there's gunfire out here. <laughs> Apparently, somebody brought a firearm here into the Nürburgring. Nonetheless, though, as we continue this race on, that was an incredible fight. Unfortunately, that is <laughs> turn one and turn two. It's a very chaotic spot four moves but it was a very good fight nonetheless this race continues and as it continues van dorn in the mclaren holds on to the lead but this race is a very unpredictable one mistakes can happen at any time here as young takes that car really wide around here and you see cody lawrence not wide trying to keep the car as shallow as possible in corner entry meanwhile now oliver blotch is going to try to make up some ground now as he's now going up against the mclaren of danny nasir on board with him now you see p5 up the road danny nasir is going to try to defend this one out he's got a bit of a gap here the mclaren very good in the corners and the super is very good on the straight accelerating out now Gonna quickly see how our other leaderboard looks. Is it good? No, unfortunately, it just shows everybody that's in the championship. So we're gonna disable that one for now. 
probably just a little bug and that'll be fixed up uh, eventually when we do get an update for that. 20 minutes left to go in this round, uh, this round for race one of two. If you're enjoying the racing so far, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get in the race, well, join our Discord. It's pinned at the live chat. And you can get in on this action. This is some great GT4 racing. As we now get back onto the front straight. So, Danny Nasir is 1.5. Just up the road. 116.8 against a 117.2. So, the McLaren of Danny Nasir is very quick. As they see Rup Narayan now exiting pits after his pit stop. And looks like Martin Webster is going to uh, retire out here in this first race. He's just staying in the pits. Interestingly, now for this championship. Because of the reverse grid rule for top five. This is a very important battle we're watching here. Danny Nasir and Oliver Blotch are now fighting for pole position for race two. Remember, the top five gets flipped on its head. So, whoever finishes in fifth starts up pole for race two. Whoever finishes sixth has to start at the back of the grid. So, these two are going to have a really hard fight. Is drifting in the Supra is... Oliver Blotch, the Danish driver, is giving us a show here. Meanwhile, trouble for Rupner Ryan, and he is flick spinning it onto the front straight. Onto the back straight, actually. So now, Andy Rees is caught up now to Marlon Young. This is going to be a good fight here. into turn one now. Oliver is quite a ways behind Danny Nasir so we can switch gears to the battle for the podium. These two drivers are going to be very close together now, so we're going to go on board with Andy Rees. Interestingly, through the carousel section, Young is getting it all wrong through there. He's going very wide, but in his case, with his ballast, maybe it's helping him out on corner exit. We're not too sure. This is the race we expected as Young goes off the track. Easy advantage for the Mercedes as he goes around the outside. Wants the inside line for the next chicane. Doesn't need it because he's good. Gets the move done. Marlon Young went wide, but he had the corner complete. I think he's just sleeping on corner exit, not realizing he took too much too much into corner exit there and just drifted off the road. I don't even think he noticed that he would have done something like that. Marlon's going to be kicking himself because of that. There was no reason. He was, he should have lost that position there. He made the corner. Nonetheless, though, Marlon Young is now going to have a fight on his hands now. Let's take a look at those, those balances between these two drivers. So 6% restrictor play and 20 kilograms of weight on the Toyota Super of Marlon Young and then 16% on restrictor play and 50 kilograms. The kilograms on these drivers' cars are represented at how much points they have except for the McLaren. With the McLarens, you got to add an extra couple of ballasts onto their cars. Meanwhile, 42, there you see Van Dorn, and here we now see Cody Lawrence, 76. So Van Dorn still has a lot of work to do with his BOP. He's trying to keep up in this points fight. As it stands right now, Cody Lawrence is at 76 points currently leads. Next up is Jaden Harrison with 55 points. No show from him today, so he's going to drop down in the point standings. Andy Rees is third in the driver's standings. And meanwhile, actually, take a look at this. A mistake there from Van Dorn, actually, going a little too deep into turn one. You heard a bit of a lock up there. So this fight's far from over between these two, so don't give up on them. As we continue on, Andy Rees with 50 points on the board. And currently finishing behind Cody Lawrence. He's going to want to finish ahead of him. Next up is Van Dorn with 42 points, but now leading this race. If he can get the win out here today, well, he's going to help him crucially for this championship. Just telling you about how points are assessed around here. 
It's 15, 13, 10. That's your top three. Then it's eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that is how points are assessed in this championship. So if it stays like this, Cody Lawrence, well, Van Dorn will be two points more than Cody Lawrence, but it's still a lot of work to do. He was unable to make Portland. He retired in race two due to connectivity issues. Had a bit of an unlucky start to this championship, but he has pulled it back amazingly. And now he's really trying to bring this championship back to him. Unfortunately, right now it's gonna be very difficult to. But with that pole position point, and if he can get past the slap, all these points count. He'll be able to score. Well, let's count it. If he's going to get two points from this race, if it stands like this, if he takes the fastest lap, that's an extra point. Three points there. Pole position, four points. Let's, we cannot count. Forget to count our weekly points. If you set the fastest lap over the week, you set an extra four points. And who was the one who set the fastest lap out here for this round? Well... It is this man, you Dutchman, Mike Van Dorn. That's a total of almost basically eight points there. And eight points crucially needed to charge back up in this championship fight. Meanwhile, I think we have some blue flags now coming out here for our race leader. And I believe it should be... Andrew Root and Ryan just up the road. And yes, it is. So he's had a, not the best of a race out here. This championship is, has been a little bit hard on Diamond Racing between himself and Ryan. I believe Ryan is most likely carding right now in real life. And so I think that's why he was unable to make it. I thought Andrew Root and Ryan was also going to be making it for carding, but he's racing with us here today. So Root and Ryan. Trying to find some improvement out here. Trying to see if he can pull something back. One thing's for sure that he's excited for is the upcoming Cup Series of races, the ovals coming up as, oh, Ruben Ryan drifts it around the final corner. Very crucial, almost entering into the pits there. And he's gonna stay right out the way for our top two. Realizing that he is almost taking that car right into pits by accident. 12 minutes and 10 seconds to go. And as it stands right now, Danny Nasir looks to have provisional pole for the moment. But remember, these drivers do still have to pit, and Danny Nasir is going to now come in for his stop. So still undercut strategies here to play out, but he's going to be your second driver now to come in. Of course, Root Narayan was your first. So he's going to try to get this one fixed up and get right back out there. So remember, it's a change of tires. That's the regulation. They have to come into the pits at least once, change the tires. Refueling is completely optional in this championship. So the drivers can run to a light, uh, a very light car in the stints that they have. The first and second stint. As they continue now racing on, 11 minutes left to go. And is Danny Nasir out? Yes, he is. So he's not gonna come out onto the racetrack here. And he is uh, comfortably ahead of the leaders. The fourth position, of course. So now it comes down to these two drivers here. This is some big points playing challenges here as Cody Lord is going to put in a personal best of a 15, 5, 4, 9, but he's 2 tenths slower than Van Dorn. Meanwhile, Andy Reese is now going to come into pits. Remember, he is fighting against Marlon Young. So now an early stop for him. Gonna try to see if he can keep the overcut alive by pitting ahead of your driver. Oh, trouble. Danny Nasir, what has happened to him? Oh no, and he stopped right before the carousel section of the track. So yellow flags are gonna be brought out. And I'm not too sure what's going on here, but he stopped his car. Has he run out of fuel? I'm not too sure something wrong with the car. He's 
out of harm's way, that's for sure. But no VSCs. The race still continues on. But this is big because Danny Nasir was fighting for provisional pole. And right now he's losing it. He's going to start P6. Even worse, could be P7. And here he, there he goes. That That's Andy Reese who did make a pit stop. So Danny Nasir will not be on pole position. That is huge. As he got going, he's revving up the car. Oh, and there he goes. So what just transpired there for Danny Nasir? I don't know, but he's now lost. Provisional pole, that is a very unfortunate sight. Meanwhile, here comes the Supra and the... Actually, both Supras, I should say. There are three Supras out here today, and both two of them are now entering the pits now. So, P2 and P3, as it says, or P3, P3 and P4. Now in the pits, and here comes Andy Reese to overtake Marlon Young. So, Andy Reese with hot tires, is going to stay ahead of this fight between himself and Marlon Young for the podium. And now Young, with the younger tires, is going to try to pull this one back. He's got eight minutes to close up. Six seconds. So we're going to see how he does out here. Meanwhile, here come your leaders and a gap of 2.5 seconds. Between these two drivers out here. The McLaren and the Supra. So we're going to see how this fight starts to go down. Because now... These drivers... Remember, they still have not made their pit stops. Cody Lawrence and Mike Van Dorn are the last drivers to come in. They, everybody's made a pit stop except for Cody Lawrence and Mike Van Dorn. And with three seconds the difference, an undercut can still happen. So we're going to see how this one turns out. Who is going to come into the pits first? Van Dorn in the lead. He's going to come in. So, and it looks like Lawrence is going to stay out on track. So lead is going to temporarily switch. And it's up to Cody Lawrence to put in a very fast lap on the board here. It's very crucial now that he sets in a fastest lap as Van Dorn comes in for his mandatory pit stop. Cody Lawrence. One opportunity. The first lap is when the driver comes in ahead of you or behind you. is going to be your best chance to see if you can pull it back. Because once Van Dorn comes out with fresher tires, he's going to instantly be quicker. So Cody is going to try his hardest now to keep the Super on top. Meanwhile, Van Dorn's now exiting pits. Interesting for him now. Lap traffic is now ahead of him. So Andrew Rubner Ryan has overtaken him. And since he does not have to pit anymore, it could be a chance that Van Dorn is held up. But now exiting out pit lane with fresh tires. He's got some work to do. Cody Lawrence. Does he stay out or does he come in with fresh tires on Van Dorn's car? You're kind of forced to come in. But if Cody feels like he has the pace, he can stay out. No, he is going to come in. 35 second buffer. Is that enough? He's put in as fast as a lap he can. 24-3 in the first sector. 24-7 in the second sector. Just to compare that, Andy Reese's first sector is a 24-3-4-6. Cody Lawrence, 24-3-9-6. Second sector with fresh tires for Van Dorn, 24-6-3-3. Second sector for Cody Lawrence, 24-7. He's a tent down. Here comes Van Dorn through the chicane. And around the final corner now. Is he going to come out? Yes, he is. And it's a long way to get on to the front straight. It's not going to be a race off of pit road. But there you see Cody Lawrence now coming out 
with a lap pressure tires and five minutes to go, 3.2 seconds. The gaps have basically stayed the same and now it's game on to the checkered flag. All drivers have made their pit stops. Everyone has gotten their stops completed now. So they're coming up to the very end here. Rupert Ryan ahead now. He has to come out the way for blue flags. And Cody Lawrence has fresh tires now. And he's gonna wanna pull this one as fast as he can. How quick can he get up to Van Dorn? That's the question we got now. Rupert Ryan ahead of him, so he's gonna get a nice little stream down the front straight. But if he's gonna hold them up, Rupert Ryan will wanna get out the way as soon as the chicane complex is complete, possibly the front straight. Going over the curbs, look how quick that Supra is. Rupert Ryan is gonna get right out the way, actually. Good sportsmanship from the two drivers as this one continues. 3.2 seconds, 3.3 seconds. The gap is kind of dancing around 15.550. Those were lap times Cody Lawrence was doing before the pit stop. So is there a chance between these two? This is your closest battle that we have on track here. 15.64, Marlon Young. Marlon Young is going to be on the front row, but with Oliver Blotch, he's going to be your pole man for race two. Confidently, as it stands right now. Danny Nasir with those issues on the car. It was very unfortunate, but he lost out. Now remember, Oliver is only in this position right now because he was unfortunately taken out by his teammate in the early stages after we had a three-car battle. But with race two coming up, we got a spicy one for you folks at home. So, Oliver, what does he do here? He's got 10 seconds to Young up the road. He's going to try to see if he can push, but nonetheless, if I was Oliver, I'd keep the P5 at the moment. Oh, trouble. So, just before the chicane complex. Off the track there. He's going to get right back on. Ooh, sliding it, and here comes Oliver. Going to see a McLaren facing the wrong direction should be clear. Meanwhile, here comes Danny Nasir now, coming in hot through the chicane. Not for position, as Rupert Ryan is, lap traffic. And he's gonna get out of the way there as Danny Nasir communicates with him. That is one of the best parts of having to be in our Discord voice channels together. Communication. Now, take a look at this. Van Doren is on a flyer here. He's actually purple in the first sector. 24-0 against 24-3. So, Cody Lawrence. Struggling out here with this BOP. The more weight, the harder it is to race. Around the final turn. Van Doren is very confident in that McLaren. 7-20. GT4, and he sets the fastest lap. Oh my goodness, a 114 triple eight. That was a very quick time there. 14s dabbling into now. That's what he loves. Van Doren just pushing this car as fast as he can. The driver from the Netherlands has already taken a championship this year in the form of the LMP2 Spec Series Championship. He took that championship under his belt. Oh, trouble. Oh my goodness. Actually, it's P5 of Oliver Blotch. <laughs> Luckily for him, the driver that could take his position is actually ahead of him, Danny Nasir. And that could have been very interesting if Danny did not make that mistake. Meanwhile, 40 seconds left to go. And Van Doren, when he crosses the line, he'll be on the two to go. But five seconds. The buffer between himself and Cody Lawrence. Cody Lawrence with the, all the weight in the world kind of just has to sit this one and try to fight as much as he can. But with this BOP, it is very tricky to keep up. 
a very hard fought race for these drivers. But now, two laps to go. So there you see the timer now turns into laps. Lap 19 of 21. And we are coming down to the end here. And what a great first race it was. Granted, it did turn into a strategy fest when we got towards the middle and end portion of this race. It was mainly the beginning part that really had the most action. And we got a little bit more trouble here. Andrew Rupin and Ryan off the track once more. Around the CMRC flags. Uh, look at to see if we can enter the Norchleifer. Actually, the exit is right on that <laughs> left-hander there. Rupin and Ryan going to limp that car home. He's going to finish B7. And here comes Van Dorn. And he's going to start the final lap for race one of the German Grand Prix. Now, if I was Van Dorn out here, I got a five-second buffer. It's just about keeping it home, coming home clean and safe. The other thing is, what is going on in his mind for race two? He is going to start in fifth position his championship arrivals are gonna start in fourth and third ahead of him can Van Doren bring back the trends of back-to-back -back race wins remember race one it was Jaden Harrison who took race one and race two and then round two for the American Grand Prix hold on a second here as Ruben Ryan's gonna get right out the way just in time as, oh no, trouble for him. He's going to slide off the track again. It was very aggressive to get right out the way. Race two went to Cody Lawrence back to back. Round two went to him. Round three. It was Mike Van Doren and Jaden Harrison who took wins together. But around the final corner, Mike Van Doren is going to come across the line. Another race winner. Maximum points in this championship fight. Race one goes to Van Dorn, the Dutchman, on top. Cody Lawrence, with all his might, will finish in second position and is going to start on the same, uh, on the row with this man right here, the Mercedes. Andy Rees is going to finish third position and is going to start third position. Marlon Young is going to take home P4, and he's going to start on the front row. And then this man, Oliver Blotch, is going to come around the chicane, and he is going to be your man on pole position. A crucial pole position, considering how we saw him fight. Danny, um, uh, Martin said he was not fault for hitting you in the back. Andrew on his back. Hey, I said it. That's why, that's why I called out Andrew. So... Blotch is going to take home. I'm sorry, I had steering failure again, so I lost a lap just parked in the car and trying to fit it, man. Oh. It keeps giving me trouble at the, the most. And there you go, that's actually our yeah, opportune time, man. For what happened. So let's go congratulate our drivers. All right, great race out there. That was a very entertaining start, I will say. But top three, we're going to start with our man in third position, Andy Rees. Andy. That was a great race from you there. Third position. But we got to talk about the beginning of that race. That was really your star power around there. Your fight against your teammate and Marlon Young. You won out there. It was a very hard fought battle. Third position on the final board. How do you feel? How was that race? Well, it was pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I did end up uh, bumping Oliver. Um, but yeah, we communicate about it wasn't a big deal so I continued on um, but yeah the first uh, few laps you know I I got ahead in third at first but then Marlon um, he kind of juked the inside on the on the straight uh, chicane there and that totally messed me up so good on him for that one um, yeah I went out in the grass and Oliver and Marlon came in front um, and yeah, I overtook him uh, eventually based on a mistake he made going wide on the grass. Um, and yeah, from there, just trying to build a gap and getting a clean uh, pit stop. 
Yeah, it was a great race for you. And now in third position, you're going to start right in the middle for this reverse grid. Now, do you think with the the power you got in that Mercedes, granted with that fight you had earlier, do you think there's a, a bit of a chance that a, a, a race win here for race two is possible? Um, We'll have to see. It, it will have to um, probably not so much depend on my driving, but probably... Um, if if Cody and or Mike makes any mistake or bumps each other out or something, um, but I mean it's it's possible certainly, but I'm not ex expecting it. Reverse grids are very unpredictable, nonetheless. So good luck on it. Congratulations on third position. Yeah, thank you. In P2, Cody Lawrence. Cody, I I gotta say, man, it's probably a bit painful to feel the weight under your belt and struggling to keep up with a lighter Van Dorn ahead of you, but you finish P2 in this championship fight. You may lose two points to him, but you are still confidently in the lead. How was that race for you? Just tried to do the maximum I could, and that was the maximum really. Mike just had a little bit more than me, and we were able to get a gap to P3 on back, and we'll see what we can do in race two. Um, I think it might be a little tough to overtake, get him down a little bit of power, so. I'll do the best I can. That's really what I have in my itinerary. I'll see where it takes me. Race so, two is always forward. your race two is always your your specialty. I will say when it comes to coming up through the field. So hey, might be a chance out here. You never know. Reverse grid's very chaotic. So can't wait to see what you could do. Congratulations on P two, and let's see what you could do from P four. Thank you. And. Your race winner, Van Dorn, a very straightforward race win, but probably a, a, a race win that you want nonetheless out here. The less trouble, the better. So, Mike, you're on top here. More points gained to you now in this championship fight. You start in P5 for race two. What's the plan, and how was that first race? Um, I mean, pace was good. Did do a little 360 middle in the middle of the race, so that wasn't ideal, but apart from that, yeah, I mean, not much to say, really. Uh, the two 114s at uh, the end were nice. So, yeah, just uh, hopefully going to be able to get through the grid in this race, too. And then uh, maybe we'll see how the, how the championship standings are. For sure. A back-to-back -back race win would be very helpful, that's for sure. Good luck on the reverse grid, and uh, have fun out there. Thank you. All right, race two coming up now in just a minute time. Same rules, top five got, got flipped up. So best of luck in this one. I definitely want to go for the top of race, guys. Yep, good luck. Good race, guys. So 44 seconds left to go. Thank you for watching race one. We'll see you in the second.